Hey guys, Victor here from RestoreMercedes.com again and here we have an infamous roof controller from uh, 1991 Mercedes 500 SL now <clears throat> this controller is used to in cars up to 95 um, and 95 fits 91 and 1990 it's a soft top controller it has three plugs one two three and it also controls the roll bar now as you can see there's a bunch of relays and chips so <coughs> the purpose of this video is to show that I think what's wrong with it I'm yet uh, to receive the chip that I need but it's in mail already so hopefully in a few days I will get it now the problem with the controller is it's actually a funny one number one when I got it this chip right here was split open it was just cracked I don't know if I can find it here to show but basically the top of the chip was having about a crack the size of half of the nail like like this big so it was just just split open um, second thing is this chip right here this is the this is like a power transistor and this thing was heating up like insanely hot so I replaced that one I did replace these two chips I replaced the relay controller chips um, and um, I also had brown diode the diode was bad right here these are all the diodes for some reason from the alarm it was from the alarm input it was just burnt I don't know it was open so I changed it I don't know what happened there probably because somebody boosted the car or something but anyway now the problem happened to my understanding is that the window regulator on the driver's side was no good when I got the car so it and also the windows misadjusted so the window the felts that the window should slide against they were all pretty much gone so the pure rubber is left so it's very hard for window to open and close so we'll have to adjust that but before so I'm thinking it's because of the extra current that was supplied to the relay um, the chip right here burnt out this chip is in charge of opening and closing windows this chip also is in charge of the automatic up and down feature and um, um the um what else when the window is the the limit switch is pressed and it will just not activate windows so let me show you what's going on like right now every time i start the car first i i have is my driver's side window just goes down by itself and it just you can hear the motor turning and when it stops it's still like sort of tensed a lot so this this relay is the window down on the, on the um, driver's side this is window up on the driver's side this is window up on the passenger side window down on, on the passenger side and these little relays I don't remember exactly which ones what but one of these is the actual pump that's in the trunk uh, these two probably I think these two are roll bar and these are for the uh, latches solenoids that open and close latches so here's my test here I have my power supply connected to the back and I also have um, two connections here to show when like to duplicate window going up and down from the console so when we put this on this relay usually clicks on and stays on as you can see it just clicked on and stays on and these also twitched and they don't stay on but they just like twitched on and off real quick see now this relay let go so every time I will do that after I, s I shut it down and the chip resets every time I would do that this relay will uh, come on and stay on we do not want that obviously so what I'm gonna show you is how I kind of diagnose this chip it's a very brutal way but this is just basically what's going on Come on, buddy. We're on TV now. All right. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up and then apply power to the uh, to the controller. So okay, yeah, it's getting hot. So we're gonna heat up this chip, the little one, because when I heat it up, it actually does not roll window down. So something internal in it is not working right. So we're going to heat this up. Well, not too much. I'm not gonna melt it, but because the controller still works after like five, seven resets, it starts working. So now I'll put the power real quick. See this relay didn't move. The other one twitched a little bit, but this one didn't move, which is a good sign. <clears throat> if I'm gonna let go of the power and uh, wait a little bit, chip cools down, I'm gonna apply power again and it would twitch. Huh? No, look at that. That's fine. So, my diagnostics on this one is the this particular chip. Because when it cools down and once it stops working, then you reset it, applying power to it, this relay starts activating again. These twitch. When you hit this up good enough too, these stop twitching as well. But I show you the windows up and down feature. So all you gotta do is just apply power to terminal six and five. Six and five. Actually that chip doesn't work right right now. As you can see it really makes noises. It should just make one click, not constant clicks. And this is this is down actually, as you can see, it moves fine. But up doesn't work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit up the chip again, shut it down, and hit up the chip. Heating, 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 heating up. Come on. Don't melt my chip. Okay. I put the power back on. You see no twitching, nothing. And now we test it. It's supposed to be quiet when you activate it. Now. Number. Where is it? Up, this is up. You see, it works fine. This is up as before it was like a machine gun, so now it works just fine. This chip was heated up, and this is down. Up, I can just apply negative to this ground and it activates it perfectly fine. Same for the down feature, up and down. So, I suspect this chip very, very much. When I will replace it, we'll see what happens, but 99% chance this is this chip. I had to replace this one because it was cracked. This one just in case because I bought two of them. Hopefully it's not the processor because this one has to be programmed and I obviously cannot do it. Just for the hell of it, I replaced capacitors. They were original 20 year old capacitors and these are electrolytic, so they tend to leak as I do see them leak all the time in both amplifiers so those I had to replace also power transistor here it was smoking hot now it's hot but way less I couldn't hold my finger to it so I assume the chip is in the state that it does not consume that much power right now so um, it seems like heating it up just just sort of sets it into proper mode and here we have it basically so this is my power when you put on the roof controller it's supposed to not click nothing just completely quiet my lights also would blink in like really 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 fast on um, on the roll bar um, manual switch not on the dash but on the console and the uh, roof switch would stay up and I always had an error code for windows and the windows worked fine when you reset the computer many times all right, well, more videos, RestoreYourMercedes.com. You can see more repairs, Mercedes throttle bodies, and um, through our roof control.